guys, this is Mike from Product, and I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, scalability and performance and what you really need from uh, a provider that's servicing your end users. And so what you typically see is that people will deploy something like uh, boxes, let's say. They take and they rack and stack a number of different physical appliances, and then they might run VMs on top of them to do processing of, of various traffic or something like containers. So inside of this scenario then, uh, what happens if there's a, a place where a lot of people go? Let's say that there's a, a conference or there's a, an event or there's a, a new customer for the vendor that's providing the service and all of a sudden 100,000 new people show up at a, at a place in some period of time. Uh, what will typically happen is people will go and they'll say, oh shoot, we need more boxes. So they'll go in and they'll try to rack and stack more of these boxes, send physical people out to the location and maybe turn on a few more VMs. It's a very manual approach. Even with uh, automated approaches where they're monitoring what's going on inside of the VMs and trying to create new ones, there's a different problem where if I turn this new VM on, it comes up in the static state of not being configured, not ready to go, having to be set up, uh, and then eventually browsing and uh, servicing new requests that come from sessions that, uh, that are brand new, that are established, instead of dynamically load balancing across the existing infrastructure. So what BigClass has done instead is kind of thrown away that old architecture, something you might see at a, at a colo or from people providing these rack and stack type uh, solutions in their own data centers. So instead of that, what BigClass did is they focused on something that we call a polyscale architecture. And so what polyscale does is it scales the environment, uh, and across environments, across data centers even, uh, dynamically on the fly by means of cloning existing uh, things that are servicing traffic or doing things like API scanning or, or whatnot, whatever it might be. And so while we had uh, one node here before that was doing this processing, now all of a sudden we see that there's a, a need for more and we'll create a new one. But instead of creating one from scratch and then configuring it and then only routing new traffic to it, what happens is the machines actually clone themselves on the fly. They might even clone themselves between data centers. And the way that we've designed this is a way that is stateless. So that instead of having this individual component over here that might be servicing one customer or one set of customers or even one application that we're seeing in other competitors like a, like a Palo Alto or a Netscope. Uh, what we're seeing here on the BigClass side is that all of a sudden I have two of these instances deployed. They can service any of the traffic that's coming in regardless of what has happened in the past. They can service any application the person wants to use. It's not like it's stuck or sticky for any reason or not session-wise. Um, and then also, it's a multi-tenant type environment. So you don't have a, a fixed set of racks that are associated with you or a fixed set of boxes that are associated to you. Instead, this whole cloud infrastructure is deployed this way. And the way that we do that is by using a flexible and elastic IaaS infrastructure. So we partner with AWS to provide the solution. And so we provide this globally. So all the points of presence that are existing in AWS, we're able to utilize and scale up and scale down on the fly. So multiple times per day, what's happening is these boxes are being created and spun up and servicing traffic and then being spun down and whatnot, all automatically. And that's not something you see from, uh, from the other vendors. It's really, really, really unique. And what that has allowed us to do is be able to service our customers, be able to apply uh, the performance requirements that exist and have a, a reliability metric of 99.99% across all the years since 2013. So that's a, a huge benefit to the end customers. They actually don't even see any of this happening, yet we're able to service all these requests, as opposed to trying to splice someone somewhere uh, and go rack and stack a new box and service your customer, uh, or deploy new uh, virtual machines and have them start from scratch and take a long time. So it's all on the fly, it's all automatic, and that's a big glass polyscale. Thank you.